guy here has immense amount of knowledge. I've been training for 26 years, like I keep reiterating to you guys. I've never seen a leg press being done in such a way um, like Kelly was just doing, um, based on his lack of flexibility, which is very good to take on board on uh, what Mike said, it's just amazing. Look at that, look at this, look at that. Look at the beauty of that. Those knees, those knees are perfect. Open up the knees, taking the pressure off the joints. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. 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 We go all the way down to a rest. Good control. Good control. Ah! Take it down lower. Take it down. Athletic. Knees out. Knees out. Knees out. Ah! Go again. Go again. Look at the hamstring loop tie-in. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Look at him twitching. You guys can't see this. Oh. Look at the fingers. Fingers. You guys talk about this. You talk about you want to fuck. Oh. This is what I want. I want to tear the fibers. Steve, I did the hand. Oh. Stand up. Stay on this. Stay on this. Come on over in this light. No. They're already a bit swollen. So you're not <laughs> going to see all the, all the slice go sideways. Look at this. Look at this. The hamstring slice all the way in. Glute hand. Look at, yeah. Guys, just so you know, that's the end of the glute right here. See how long that is? For me, it's a... Uh, I know you guys love, like... The big quads, for me, I like the superhero body. Like, like I've always said, when a stallion walks out, the quads are nice. But that, the, the stallion's ass and hamstring is so athletic to me and so powerful to me. Uh, and the way the fibers shake on it, that's what I love. I love that yeah, kind of, the, that, that style of that. From my perspective of things, the uh, proportions are very important to me. Not only do I want an athletic body, but I want an aesthetically pleasing body. So when you talk about big quads, if your quads outpower your hammies and your glutes, forget it. I think you've got to be very, look at it so everything's proportional. So everything looks very aesthetically pleasing. From a visual point of view, is it exactly what, whatever you're doing, we all want to look good. Come on. I think the majority of society says, it. well, if you put weightlifting or, or, or dieting and training in front of other things then you're self-centered or, or in some sense um, egotistical because you're trying to be pretty or something no it's nothing that it's nothing. not even not even close to nothing. that effort. it's it saved you it saved me like i was if i didn't find it's sport, so much different than i think majority things yeah if i didn't find lifting at age of 12 i'll be even dead on prison simple it's no there's no ifs or buts about it so it made me the person I am. It gave me the discipline. It gave me the respect. Because I walk into the gym, I have what you call etiquette. But at the same time, I'm here to fight. I'm here to go to war. But not with people around me. I'm here to go to war myself. To be the best version of myself. Because I'm going to war in this body to create the best version of myself. And all I want to work on is myself. Because it's the best project I've ever worked on. So, you know, this, this is it. This is the domain to be in. You know, to think about whatever you're going through out there in the real world, when you step into the domain here, fuck it, you're working the best one you've ever been given. <laughs> Don't think about it. Stretches. The only way you can really stretch is yeah. if you relax. Yeah. Let's go.
Who's eight? Exactly. Because that day you might have had more in your tank. Exactly. That day you might have had less, yeah. maybe, so you tried something different and put yourself in a weak position yeah. and pushed it. So you got the idea today. I, you, guys, you guys will get this, I hope. Understand when you go in with such a game plan, I'm going to do four sets of 12 reps yeah, on exactly. squat, then go to leg press and do sixes. <laughs> you shut yourself down because, yes, you've got a game plan when you go into the fight. Yeah. But when you actually get in it, you're not hearing stuff. No. And you're really in the fight. It's muffled, and all you hear is that noise and your voice in the head. And that's what I try to take each workout to, to that muffleness. Of, I don't care who's screaming at me. I don't need yeah. that. I got that voice in the head and just yelling at me going, this is your, this is your fight. That's it. You're getting your ass kicked. Get your that's ass it. up. Let's go. That's the kind of concept when you walk I, I love what you just said there because uh, what resonated with me with what you just said there is that uh, I'm a big, 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 big Watson fan. One of the great best quote is uh, Mike Tyson because everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. So, do you know what I mean? When you step into the, into the gym, you might have a plan, but then when that, that hits you, that first hit hits you, you know, what's your plan then? Did you even punch in the mouth, basically? You came in and said, I'm going to do 405 for ones. Yeah. And you did. But did you think you were going to do 315 for a pause of over 40 seconds at no, the bottom of a hole no. that you've never done in your life? No. That's fun. That, exactly. That's passionate. That's and you different. did that because of what I did. And then I did something because you did something. And then it's back and forth. Now, it's not only my energy and it's my, my mindset. It's like, I got this beast that's coming in here. 
I gotta step it up. Yeah. And then now. This is my house. This is my house. Walla, you ain't coming and gonna take shit away from me. This is my house. I'm gonna show you his boss. <laughs> so that's, you got, you got the idea yeah. that that's training. That's a training partner. Yeah. And that's why a lot of times I don't train with close friends because then they get, they get sent. Yeah. Instead of somebody coming in going, I'm going to dethrone you. Yeah. I'm taking you down. That's it. This is my throne now. Yeah. And I love that because that's working out. That's stuff. No, it's, it's the kind of stuff you're like. You living feel, legend. This guy is a living legend. Oh. It's an honor to be in his prison. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> dang. So as you can see, guys, first and foremost, the foot positioning, his toes are touching. His knees are not moving apart. We're hitting that nice little teardrop on the front of the quads. Quad dominant. Now, VMO is what we're trying to work. We're trying to work it in a very short rep, rep range. Yeah? You look at his back, it's not touching. The positioning, his back is not touching the back plate of the hack squat. We're hitting a VMO quad focus, but VMO specifically focused. The foot position isn't moving, he's still driving through the heels, he's breathing out through every rep. Did you guys hear that he said little? I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? Watch this, pay attention. It's a great exercise. It's an advanced exercise. So if you got mind and muscle, you're gonna love this. Take the chest away from the pad, back to back. No, no. There we go, there we go, keep coming. I know this is awkward for you guys. We're not using the pad. So it's shoulders on, ass locked in, toes together. Watch this. Bring it. Look at that. Beautiful. Everything is posed. Everything, posing through it. You guys love this. You're gonna love this exercise. Teardrops, end of the exercise. Now, one thing might confuse you. Range of motion. Don't let it confuse you. Look at the quadriceps. That's what we're working. You don't need to have the hamstring. Now, you're gonna think the hamstring's working here. He's just in shape. And you're seeing him pop out. But right now, the focus, look at that. You guys talk about a weaker lower knee. This is the exercise I want you doing. Beautiful. <clears throat> this is what I want you to do. A couple more, come more, come on. <clears throat> Look at the range. It's the end of the workout. We've done some great range of motions. Now we're just working oh. nicely. So as you can see, guys, just won the world title. I came over to Gold over in Venice to train with Mike. I've learned so much today in regards to training. I've trained for 26 years. A lot of the stuff that we did today, we're different from the way I normally would train myself. Uh, I normally go over a uh, training plan um, and I go through rep ranges. What I've learned today is you shouldn't really think about what rep ranges you're going to be going through. You've got to feel the movement. You know, I did a lot of stuff, you know, like I've never done before. Like holding squats at the bottom of the movement for 40 seconds. 40 seconds, you know, on a, on, for me it was a lot of weight. Um, that shocks the system, shocks the central nervous system in another way that you've never, never ever been done before, for me. So the most important thing to keep developing, to keep growing, is to do new things that you've never done before. And today's session is a whole new ball game for me. I know, I can already feel my legs, I can already feel my glutes, that I'm gonna be feeling muscles that I've never worked before. So to develop and to move on to that next stage, to be a champion, and to be a champions of all champions, you must do what others ain't doing. And this is a session that I know a lot of my competitors won't be doing because they've never trained like this before. I've never trained like this before. So I want to say a big thank you to Mike for allowing me and giving me the privilege to join him in his training session today. It's a true honor to be in his presence. I'm a big fan of these and I have been for many years. And for me to be in his presence, to have trained with him today, it was a true honor. So, from the bottom of my heart, Mike, I've got nothing but love for you.